In this video I'll demonstrate how to create a simple script that looks out for certain key combinations and then does a desired task. If you have any questions about this video, comment below. Next we'll use pip to install the pyimpip module. To check if pip is set up, open cmd and type pip. If no errors appear, you're good. If you don't have pip set up, you can watch my video of how to set up pip. I'll put the link in the description. Now we can install pyinput by typing pip install pyinput. Watch the output for any significant errors at the end. If all goes well, it will say that pyinput was successfully installed. To test that it was installed correctly, open the python IDLE and execute import pyinput. Create a new python script and save it. First import keyboard from pyinput and then create a variable called current and set it to a set object to track what keys are currently pressed. Create two empty methods called onPress and onRelease, each taking a key as a parameter. Now using a with statement to create an instance of keyboard.listener, add the methods and join the instance to the main thread. Next create a list called combinations at the top of the script. Sets of keys need to be put in here to be detected. For this tutorial I'll want to look out for shift A. First create a new set and put the keys in separated by a comma. Since shift is a special key, we'll need to get it from keyboard.key. Put a comma and now use keyboard.keycode to get the key code of the letter A. We will need to do this again, but this time for a capital A. Depending on what order the keys are pressed in, the listener will get an upper or lower case A. If you want to add different hotkeys, I have some more examples on my website. The link will be in the description and at the end of this video. Now create a method called execute. This is what will be executed when a combination is detected. You can put anything in here, but for this video, I'll print a simple string. Now we will edit the onPress method. We'll need to first check if the key that has just been pressed is in any of the combinations that we have. If it is, we need to add it to the current key set and then loop through all the combinations, checking if all the keys in a particular combination are in the current set. If one of the combinations has all their keys in the current set, we need to call execute. Finally, we need to modify the onRelease method and check that when a key is released, if it is in any of the combinations. If it is, we need to remove it from the current set. Now if you save and run the script, when Shift A is pressed, the string will be printed. If you want something else to happen when the combination is detected, put it in the execute method. If you want this to run in the background with no console, save the script again, but with a .pyw extension. Now this time when you run it, the console will not appear. Head over to my site to look at a written tutorial and the code for this video. Also, if you want to find out how to convert this to an executable, watch my video on converting PY to EXE.